Today on the agenda, we'll be changing out the engine air filter on the 2013 GMC Sierra. Hey, my name is Kenny, and this is Kenny Ram Dash Cam. I am Kenny Ram, of course. And I decided to start making more videos related to the vehicles that I use on the Dash Cam channel because, well, you don't really have a Dash Cam unless you have a vehicle to record said Dash Cam footage. And so this is the 2013 GMC Sierra that I have that has been used to record videos um, so today's changing the engine air filter i'm not sure when the last time i've changed it but it's been a while and that being said it needs to be changed so let's get started so we already have the hood opened this is where the engine air filter goes so that is the engine and to the passenger side of the vehicle is here now for whatever reason general motors decided hey we're going to put these star bit screws in to lock the air filter down instead of using like clamps or something else reasonable where it doesn't require tools to take the air box apart. That being said, we have to go get tools to take this apart. All right, here I have my T25 Torx bit and stick it in there, some kind of way. And back it out. And you gotta do it for that one. That one down in there, right there by the charge pipe. I think that's the charge pipe. And then that one over there. The screws have been removed with that one down there being the worst. So I had to get the screwdriver and attach it to the Torx bit. So now that said, should be able to yank this up. And there's the air filter. Woohoo! Kind of stick that over to the side there. Hopefully it'll stay put. And let's see how filthy this thing is. Yeah, there we go. And, well, it's not horribly dirty, but I'm sure there's, yeah, there's a little bit of filth in there. Dirt. At least there's no leaves, like sometimes I get. Not sure what all, but yeah, see, there's dirt building up in there. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and toss that one off to the side. Nothing new. And we'll get this one. Now, for this particular vehicle, it is the STP SA8755 filter. If you get a different brand, I have no idea what that model number is. You can go to your local auto parts store and check the book, or you can go online as always and, well, figure it out from there. All right, let's get this thing unboxed and drop back in. The new one slides in like so. Literally just, if I can move that back out of the way. So you slide it in, drop it down, and, well, it may take a little bit of effort. There we go, and it's in there. And then you reposition the airbox, air box, oops, fit back over there, which will require two hands, so I'm gonna have to put this camera down, but that's it. As you see, the new air filter is in and closing it up. Now I just gotta reattach the screws. Why General Motors, why screws? It would just be so much easier if it was clamps. All four screws, one, where is it? Yeah, where is it? Here we go, somewhere down in there. There's another screw down there. I don't know where it is, but there you go. Brighten this up. All right. So one, two, three, and four screws are all back in. And the air filter has now been changed with the dirty one down there ready for disposal. Thank you for checking out this video. That will wrap things up. If you have any comments or questions about the air filter change process, feel free to leave those down below. Also, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I have new dash cam videos all the time and these occasional maintenance videos will show up as repairs are needing to be done. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.